these two bills right here will break NBA 2K23. Before we get into this video, man, drop a like, subscribe. We just hit 1K, man. Shout out to everybody who subscribed and who watched me and supports, man. Appreciate that, man. Drop a like, sub up. Let's get into the video. So first things first, we're gonna look at these hairstyles before we get to the build. If you wanna skip to the build, you can go ahead. But these hairstyles are bad, bro. I don't know if these are all the hairstyles that's gonna be in 2K23, but these new ones, bro, I don't really like them, bro. Like, the Jama Rant one is aight, but other than that, like, all the other ones are either we already had it or it's bad, bro. Like, I don't like them, man. Comment WRL for hairstyles. Let's get into the builds. First build, we got this 6 9 Face up playmaker man this build is amazing man this build looks so tough shout out to juice man and beast tv for the builds the original link will be in the description if you want to watch the original videos i'm not taking their videos and saying it is my own like no i did i did not get to test the game i did not get to play the game early so shout out to juice man and beast tv all right so look the build i'm going to pause a lot stuff like that okay so you see it's 6 9 210 7 4 wingspan, chat. And for your wingspan, it does not affect your dribbling this year, bro. It does not affect your dribbling this year. So you can put it max wingspan, low wingspan. I feel like you should always go max wingspan now since it doesn't affect your dribbling. It affects your shooting, though. So maybe that's the only reason, reason you wouldn't want to go max. It still affects your shooting and your defense and your dunking and stuff like that. But, bro, you only really need about like a 82 to an 85 3 this year. Maybe an 80 will work, especially if you know your jump shot. But. I say get comfortable around 82 to 85 in between there. And that's all you really need. So you don't even need that. And he has a 7 foot wingspan and he gets an 86 three point shot. So that's already good. I think once you go over 6'10, then that's when it starts affecting your dribbling and stuff like that. But that's at that point, you're just literally a big man. Like at least 6'9 to 6'10, then we got boost. You can play as a 4, the 5, the 1, the 2. You can play any position. It's a demi guy. It's giving, it's giving like 2K19, 2K17 S in nostalgia bro like i'm telling you first just watch how he upgrades the build watch how he upgrades the build and watch how when he upgrades certain stuff other things go up as well in other categories he's also trying to upgrade it to get certain badges to try to get the most badges he can in every category and just get the most badges that will fit his playstyle chat and also when you're looking at his build use this as a template don't you you don't have to make the exact build if you don't want to you can't always tweak it and change it how you want me i'm going to use my play style and i'm going to change the build a little bit too i'm going to change it to how i would like it and how i play because i know i'm not going to be the main guard i'm not going to be the main ball hunter but i still want to have a decent ball hunter so when i play ones or if i'm not playing with my guard i can still handle the ball and be all right so look how he upgrades this look how much badges he has right now he's looking at the defense and see how much he needs to get certain badges and all that stuff so this is the final 99 overall attribute so yeah it's 87 mid 86 3 that those are max he has the 83 that that is good enough you really only need like a 70 70 so 75 free throw 80 drive knock and an 80 drive knock. we don't know how much you're gonna need this year to get contact dunks but i'm pretty sure it should be around 80 to 85 as always is somewhere between there even if 80 gives you like the little the little contact dunks is still something for me he has an 87 ball handle and a max out speed with ball so only thing about the taller builds is your speed with ball is going to be a little lower he has an 81 speed but when you're dribbling the speed has nothing to do with anything speed with ball is for your dribbling so off ball and defense is for your speed because there is no lateral quickness so your speed has to do with everything except dribbling he has an 80 block that's really good 80 defense rebound that is good his officer rebound is iffy but he's still gonna be able to get rebounds i'm gonna show you all the gameplay perimeter defense is the 80 and interior defense is 70 but we don't know how good the interior defense is or is not this year so we're gonna have to see his strength is kind of lower so i'll probably put my strength a little bit 2k is saying that you need strength this year so we're gonna see he has 176 excel and not max stam hey man i don't know you might need a stam a lot of people are complaining about the bar the standard bar and the three boosts and all that i just feel like y'all complaining too early y'all getting the inch and taking them out like you feel me you just gotta play the game first and see how it goes so now we get into the takeovers look at all the takeovers you have available bro you got pull up precision ankle breaking shots all those takeovers limits range spotter precision all the team boost and the perimeter lock all that bro that you have so many takeover options definitely if you tweak the build 
to cater how more of you want to play you're going to probably get the defense of baddest too if you want to play more of a defensive role you could probably get the rebound and baddest too if you want to play more of a big and stuff like that so he just made it more how he would like to play you get so much badge choices or takeover choices it doesn't make any sense bro. then if you can't unlock a certain badge i feel like you should make that your takeover like if you can't get limitless range as a badge then make it a takeover if you can't get a defensive badge then get a defensive takeover you feel me so you can be you can have the most demigod x x build as possible it's harder to make demigod builds this year you're gonna be more of a role player you're not gonna have every category 80 90 you're gonna have two maybe one depending on how much you really want that category to be up really gonna have to think smart be wise take your time don't rush to build it but take your time tell me take your time bro and this is his shades of players. I don't really like that. Resilience, that doesn't really, I don't think that's right, but whatever. And you see the build name, Face Up Playmaker, man. I'm face Up, that's a new rare build name. I don't know if you're gonna get that a lot, this 2K, but it's a new build name for sure. So I don't know if it's necessarily rare, but it's definitely new. See, he has 14 finishing, 25, shooting, 20 playmaking, and 16 defense. Now you wanna aim more for the 15 finishing, and he even said that in his video, he messed it up a little bit, but you want to get a 15 finishing badges if you're making this exact build, so you might want to tweak it a little bit. Nonetheless, this is still a decent badge spread. There's new badges this year, bro, like Masher, Aerial Wizard. I need to see what these badges do, and there's a Bully badge. I don't see it up here. I don't see Bully, but there's a Bully badge too, bro. It's more like a LeBron, Giannis type of, type of badge. It is so fire, bro. And then on your right, you see that you have core badges. So for your core badges, you don't spend any badge points on your core badges. You literally can put badge in a core badge for free. That's a W for 2K, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's a little method. Like, you can finesse it with that. 2K, 2K definitely is a W for that. Tier 1 and Tier 2, you can use those anytime. But for Tier 3, as you see right there, it says equip at least 10 points between tiers for 1 and 2. You can't put on a Tier 3 without putting on at least 10 points for Tier 1 and Tier 2. It has to add up. It doesn't have to be each. You have to beat wisely in where you put your badges if you want them Tier 3 badges. You definitely want at least one Tier 3 badge. I say try to make one of your Tier 3s your core badge. You see for the Tier 3, Blinders, Catch and Shoot, Dead Eye, and Limitless Range are the Tier 3 for shooting. I really want to see what these playmaking badges are going to do in the game. Man, like the new ones, Clan Breaker. That's a new badge. That sounds, it sounds nice. It really sounds nice. Killer combos. I think that's more like quick chain and mismatch. Extra went from a shooting to a playmaking badge. Man, I love it. I love it. We gonna see. We gotta see. He put catch and shoot as his core badge too. Defense, bro. He got glove. I think that's a stealing badge because pickpocket is not in the game anymore. I don't think. Challenger. I forgot what that does. I'm gonna have to read it over again. I can't wait to get in the builder, man. Can't wait. Drop a like. Subscribe. Comment 2K23 height if you're ready for 2K23, man. I can't wait. And this is a nice little feature 2K added. They added a 3v3 or a 5v5 mode for your builder tester instead of playing like a 5v5 with being crowded and all that. The 3v3 tester is fire. That's a W from 2K. I like this screen too before you start the game. It's kind of like a black top type of screen. And you see the name, Face Up Playmaker. They have a versatile offensive force name. And then you have two way scoring machine. I think that have been in the game before. A three level shot creator. I don't know if that's been a game before, but that sounds like a W name too. All right, so getting to the first gameplay, you're gonna see him try to come up a little bit. He blow passes, man, and he gets a nice little dunk, man. They feel me. This board, I was talking about the offense rebounder and stuff like that. That was a defense rebound, but this board can rebound nonetheless. He's gonna pull up and green that bit, man. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, this build is shooting over those. It, it just reminds you of 2K19. Look at that. Look at that, it's probably guarded right there. I don't know if you put it on, but that's probably it right there. All right, so this is build number two. Shout out to Beast TV for this build, man. Like I said, the original links will be in the description for Deuce Man and Beast TV. Shout out to both of them for the builds. Of the 610 Demigod build is here. 610, 210 pounds, 611 wingspan, shorter than the face up playmaker. So look how he upgraded this. He was changing up a lot of stuff, so he switched up some stuff. I cut it out, like I said, the original links in the description if you want to watch it fully detailed. But I cut some of the stuff out because he was changing up a lot of stuff, so I'm just breaking down for y'all. He was trying to get more playmaking badges, and he was trying to figure out how to get more playmaking badges, but still not sacrificing too much on the other categories. But you see his three is a 91. Defense is looking really nice on this field, I'm not gonna lie. See him still tweaking it a lot. He has good strength too. Chat, don't sleep on the strength. That's good strength too. But one thing I was concerned a little bit about was a close shot. I don't know how much you'll need this year, but I would try to at least go for like a 65 close shot. This was his final 99 build. 
So you have 8, 22, 11, and 22. That's not a bad bash bet. And he puts up the driver down to 86. 3 is a 91. The mid range is a little low, a 76, but it should be straight. Free throw is just under a 70. Still should be high. I feel like you should get in the 70 to be safe. 81 ball handle, like I said, it's good. He has less speed with ball from the 6, 9, 5, 3. That could definitely play into effect as a big factor. 88 interior defense, which is really nice. 74 interior um, perimeter defense, mm, that's probably pretty nice for his size. 84 block, and the rebounding is good offense and defense. So you see this build, is, I say this build is pretty better defensively because it has 22 and the other one has 16 defensive badges. And the physicals are pretty nice too. He maxed out his stamina versus um, the 6'9 build. Stamina was on like a 90 or something like that. Look, he has less finishing, so he's going to be more of the perimeter guy and the defensive guy. And if he plays with ones with this build or something like that, the kind of ISO guy, depending on your skill set, this year is about skill. So you got to remember that this year is really based on skill, so you really have to know what you're doing. And look at all the takeover options, man. See? See what I'm saying? You could tweak it. This is a different build a little bit. But I'm just saying, like, see, now he has a defensive takeover as two, as well as a shooting and ankle breaking shots and shot creating and stuff like that. But he goes with ankle breaking shots twice. And this is his shades. I don't agree with these shades either. And this build is a two way face up four. These face up builds are new and they are going to dominate NBA 2K23. They're going to break the game, I'm telling you. Drop a like, subscribe, man. Like I said, shout out to Juice Man and Bees TV. The links will be in the description to our original video if you want to check those out. And go sub up to them. Chat, we're on a road to 10k. Comment W. That's going to let me know if you made it to the end of the video. W build. W. And the 6 9 and 6 10 builds are back. Demi guys are back. It's going to give you some nostalgia from 2K17 and 2K19.